Welcome to IPA with a CPA. We're here to share ideas to help you and your business make more money and keep more of the money you make. Hi, I'm Paul Mueller. And I'm Robin Pye. Paul and I are CPAs and owners of Mueller Pye & Associates with offices in Northern Colorado and Katy, Texas. Today's topic is about depreciation and all the changes from the Tax Reform Act. Robin, we're going to be talking about some big changes and some big numbers. Big changes and big numbers, but yep. first I want to talk about beer. Absolutely. All right, so tell me what we're drinking. So we're at Verboten Brewery in historic downtown Loveland, and the beer we have with us today is is there You Can't Handle the Kolsch. Oh, should okay. we see if we can handle Let's it? Let's see if we can handle this. All right, yeah, cheers. cheers. Mm, I can handle it. You can handle it. Okay. That's good. Well, you know, Robin, for a lot of folks that are new to craft beer, Kolsch is oftentimes a gateway beer to the whole craft beer okay. phenomenon. So it is a light, refreshing, and a low alcohol beer. Delicious. So it's really good. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about depreciation okay. now. One of the big changes in the Tax Reform Act had to do with Section 179. Mm -hmm. Section 179 is the provision that lets businesses write off all of their equipment in one year right. up to certain maximums. Right. And so in 2017, we had a maximum of $500,000. Mm -hmm. This year, it doubles up to $1 million. That's yeah. a huge write-off. So that's a huge change. Mm -hmm. And perhaps even more important are the types of property that qualify under the new law that didn't qualify under the old law. Like what? So roofs. That's no. a big one. Yes. Roofs or buildings, you write that off as a building. Eligible for Section 179 now, wow. so you can write that off. That is big. Yeah, so that's yeah. big. HVACs mm -hmm. are another one. Security systems. Right. Sprinkler systems. So wow. those are kind of the big categories. Wow. And you know, like I said, we're in historic downtown Loveland. Uh, so we have a lot of old buildings right. here, and we have developers that are coming in and repurposing some of these buildings. And oftentimes, the first bill they get hit with is a fire sprinkler system. Bring it up to code, I Bring guess. Bring it up okay. to code, that's right. Okay. And so yeah. the, the fact that they can write that all off in one year, yeah. that could be a game changer yeah. in a lot of ways. Yeah. So yeah, game that's changes. very important. Okay. Um, we may have some clients for which a million dollars isn't enough. Yeah. And so we had this new thing called bonus depreciation that was in the tax reform bill. So bonus depreciation is not new, but the rules changed under bonus depreciation. Right, okay. So you can write off 100% of um, Purchases, equipment, sure. equipment, and there are no limitations, no maximums. No phase outs. No phase no, outs, nothing like that. It's just write it all off. It's just you can write it all off. Wow. And it applies to new and used property. So mm -hmm. under the old law, it applied only to new property and mm -hmm. not to used property. Now wow. it applies to used property. Um, includes land improvements, so parking lots, landscaping, things yeah. of that nature. Um, Furniture and appliances in rent houses, yeah, which did big. not qualify for bonus before, God. qualify now. Um, and then qualified interior improvement property. Okay. So, so let's talk about qualified interior improvement property because okay. this was really a very favorable change in the law. Yes. Uh, over the last decade or so, Congress has created all these qualified property rules for mm -hmm. restaurants, mm -hmm. retail establishments, certain types of leasehold improvements, and other types of improvements. And, yeah. a, and it was a morass of different types of rules as Very far as who could deduct it. Right. Yeah, and, and sometimes right. the rules applied in one year and got yes. pushed off in another year. So what Congress did in the tax reform bill, they just scrapped all of that and said, we're just going to call it qualified right. interior improvement property, write it off, it's eligible for 179, yes. it's eligible for bonus depreciation, yes. and I don't think it matters anymore if it's the landlord, the tenant, right. owner-occupied, it's, it's whoever pays for it. Whoever pays whoever for it pays gets for to write it, it off. That deduction. Yeah. So yeah, so, so that's huge. So so what should so that's the law. What should okay. businesses be thinking about and doing right now? Okay, so one of the big changes in bonus depreciation was that it is retroactive back to September 27th of 2017. Okay. Okay. So if you missed it on your 2017 return, it might be a refund opportunity. So you could go back and maybe amend a yes. return and get a refund back yes. on that. That's okay. correct. That's okay. correct. Um, reconsider lease versus buy positions because that might be. Um, um, you know, it might make that um, that lease more attractive sure. or, or, or more purchase. economical or whatever. Yeah, and yeah. you got to run the numbers on it. You've got to run the numbers. Yeah. Um, accelerate capital expenditures into 2018. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to buy that equipment, don't wait till January 1 and do it. Right. Buy it and place it in service. Before, before the December 31st. Of, before December 31st. So that could really be yes. a, a, a big year-end planning move for some folks yes. to maybe accelerate those capital expenditures Definitely. into this, into 2018, yes. instead of waiting till next year. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And then, you know, when you're considering leasehold improvements, when you're negotiating a lease, that's mm -hmm. something to consider as well, because if you're the one that's going to pay for the improvement, then you are eligible for that for bonus that depreciation. Wow. Yes, okay. yes. You know, the other thing we saw that's not necessarily depreciation, we saw some changes in the area of like kind exchanges. Right. Um, 
you know, I, it, it kind of dawned on me when, when this change came in that we've seen a lot of clients trade in equipment, cars, yeah, trucks, all, all those types of things. Yeah. And I guess it just never really occurred to me that those were in fact like kind exchanges. Mm -hmm. Well, they are. Um, so what the new law did is like kind exchanges can only be used for real estate now. Right. So if you have that vehicle that you've used in business and you've written it all off yeah. and now you go trade it in, that's you're going to have a taxable game. That's a taxable event. A taxable, yeah. Yeah. That's just incredible. I so, can't believe yeah. those things People happen. are going to be surprised. We don't, we don't want surprises. I so. think we're going to see yeah, some people that, that see get people surprised, surprised by this. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Robin and I hope that you found this information useful. Be sure to send us an email with any comments, questions, or suggestions for future topics. And be sure to check back on our YouTube channel for the next IPA with a CPA. Until next time. Prost. Prost. Prost.